Smack em a Gob, amigo and amigas. It's a track by track album battle, and this time I'm putting. Ooh, this is gonna be a tough one. I just know it. Master of Reality versus Sin After Sin. Both exceptionally great albums. I love every song off this. Eh, a couple I can do without, but they're both great. So let's do this. <coughs> Oh, I just coughed up some cobwebs. <coughs> Two more left. All right. So, Master versus Sin after Sin. All right, we got Sweet Leaf versus Sinner. Man, that sucks. -da 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 -da. Man, as you know, Black Sabbath is my favorite band of all time. And Sweet Leaf is one of their best songs. But I'm going with Priest. Seriously. Sinner? That's how awesome Sinner is. Then I'm putting it above Sweet Leaf, damn it. Wow. Ouch. That hurt my testicles. All right, then we got After Forever versus Diamonds and Rust. Both great, but this time I'm going with Sabbath, man. Come on. I hurt my left testicle on that one. I'm not going to hurt my right one. At least not yet. All right. Uh, then we got Embryo, which is, you know, just a little instrumental. Versus Starbreaker, rising from the sky. I'm bad at remembering lyrics. Priest. Giving that one to Priest. All right. So then we got Children of the Grave, my favorite song from my favorite band. Versus Last Rose of Summer. Not even close. Not even close, fool. All right. All right, so that's the end of side one. And side one is a tie. Two against two. So now I'm going to pick a random album, talk about it a little bit, and go back into... Let's go up here. Go back into uh, the track by track. I'm picking this one this time. Oh, this is awesome. The last Blister Cult album, The Symbol Remains. Let me tell you, man, this album is probably the greatest comeback album ever. Well, it wasn't really a comeback. They never broke up. But, man, what's it been, like 12, 13, 100 years since their last album? There's not a song on here I don't like. I mean, there were a couple songs that I, were like, I was like, eh, about. Like, um, what was it? Like, uh, looking through it. Train True and Florida Man. I was like, whatever. But now I love it. I love every song off this album. This album is amazing. All right, now let's get back into it. Uh, all right, side two starts with Let Us Pray versus Orchid. Let Us Pray, man. First, I think first double bass, Simon Phillips. Amazing. I'm giving it to that. All right. Ooh, this is going back and forth. I love this. I love track by tracks like this. Then we got Lord of this World, Evil Possessor, Con for for Call for the Priest uh, slash Raw Deal, uh, Lord of this World. Right on. Oh, it's a tie. See, it's going back and forth. I love this. Then we got Solitude, the eerie, depressing, but I love it ballad. Going against. Here Comes the Tears, which is another ballad that meh, Solitude gets that one. All right, then we got Into the Void versus The Senate Aggressor. Oh, man. <sighs> Ow, my right ball. Oh, it's both my testicles now. I mean, this one hurts even more than the last. Ow. Ow, man. I mean, really? Really? I'm going to pick a song over Into the Void? Am I nuts? Ow, my nuts. But I am. Oh. The Senate Aggressor, man. I love it, man. It's, oh, man. You know, when, when, when I turn off this camera, I'm going to proceed to go outside and punch myself in the face 12 times. Because seriously, I deserve it. But, you know what that means? What a track by track. It's a tie. A tie. 
What do you all think? Put your uh, track by tracks in the comment section below. I would love to know what you all think. All right. I'm very ashamed of myself. And it's time for me to go. So thank you for watching. Stay frosty. Listen to Sabbath. And smack them a gob. Pfft.